Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of On a Positive Note. I'm your host Alan Lyle here to dole out a dose of doggone dandy delights in these days of downright demented dingbats. I'll be back. Move over Terminator, there's a new robot in town. The Los Angeles Fire Department has a new firefighter on its team. He weighs in at a whopping ton and a half plus and can deliver about 2,500 gallons of water per minute onto a blaze. His name is Thermite Robotic Systems 3, but everyone just calls him RS3 for short. The mechanical marvel is small enough to pass through a set of double doors to fight a fire from the inside, and it's powerful enough to smash through a wall like the Incredible Hulk. RS3 proved its sizable value earlier this month when it was instrumental in extinguishing a major inferno in an LA commercial district when his human counterparts had to withdraw because of the intense heat. No word yet on whether or not we can expect to see an army of RS3s in the near future, but I assure you, there's nothing to fear. Unless, of course, your name is Sarah Connor. Dead Circleville, Ohio once called itself the pumpkin capital of the world. Half Moon Bay, a small coastal town in Northern California, grows about 3,500 of the orange gourds every year and they challenged Circleville to the title. But this year, it's a Minnesota farmer who walks away with bragging rights because he just won the World Championship Pumpkin Way Off. He drove all the way to Half Moon Bay, hauling behind him a massive pumpkin, tipping the scales at 2,350 pounds. Not only did he take the title, but he also gets a cash prize of $7 per pound. Do the math, that adds up to over $16,000 in pocket change. The only thing left now is to go for the Guinness Book of Records for the world's largest pumpkin pie. You know, I've grown some okra that you could hollow out and use as a canoe. I wonder if anyone would pay good money for that. Have you ever thought about that the chicken is the only animal that we eat both before it's born and after it's dead? <laughs> Kinda makes you wanna go vegan, right? Thank you for joining us today. I trust you'll have a great week and always remember, in a world filled with doom and gloom and naysayers, somewhere, someplace, there's a full orchestra playing nothing but positive notes. And I'll keep my dial tuned in to share them with you. Until then, I'm Alan Lyle, and I'll positively see you next time.